Ho! Ladies and gentlemen, today you have seen the best of Albion's arena fighters. Put your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. I give you Arachnox. Three, two, one, go. Okay, this boss is kind of special. Really fun. As you can see, it kind of has a little bit of a glowing weak point, I would have to say. And as it turns out, we can exploit that for a lot of damage. If it goes into a phase where it just kind of sits there and charges. This boss itself does have a few phases, though. And I think they occur when the boss is at certain percentages. But while he's doing his charging animation, I like to take advantage of his state of being sort of prone and do a ton of damage to him real quick before he goes under. Because when he goes under, he spawns little mini baby versions of himself. Very adorable, very deadly. Though personally, I actually wouldn't know how deadly they are because I usually kill them so quickly they can't do anything. Yeah. Eh. It seems like they still die in one hit, so that's good. They seem to have had as much health as the Beatles from the very start of the game. So he's up again. Of course, I hit slow time way too early. Didn't actually let him spawn, which was a mistake, but hey. It's probably not gonna matter too much. 102 damage, 191, 182, 136. Yeah. He tried to get me with that. Didn't quite work, did it? Bleh. 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 I didn't think I was going to be able to kill him before he went under again. I'ma kill your babies. I'ma splat your babies. Die, little scorpion babies. Eh. I really loves calling me our space. I'm gonna have to hunt him down later and have a talk with him about that nickname. Scorpion! Hello! There he is. Let me actually let him spawn this time before I nuke him. Kaboom! And kaboom! And kaboom! And I'm pretty sure he's dead. Bye, Scorpion. I love you. The Arena Bank is truly broken! That's another 10,000 gold! This is for a massive total of 28,600 gold! Money, money, money. We have two winners. Incredible. So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Uh-oh. Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades. I have returned, after an eternity away from you all. Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy in it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. 
The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. I'm not what do they think they're doing? They can't do this. I'm going to put on a good fight. But I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. And that's what we're going to do. Let's my, go. My sentiments exactly, Whisper. I'm glad you're still on my side. Alright. Of course she doesn't put up much of a fight. Because it's, it, it's Whisper. We've been over this by now. But she does have a lot of new tricks, like jumping around and throwing firebombs and stuff like that, which is sort of amusing. We have a winner here tonight, folks! All he has to do is give her one final strike, and the bonus prize is his! But will he do it? Will he kill Whisper? Or will he throw his victory away? Don't do it, farm boy. We agreed. Just walk out. We agreed. Let's stop fighting now. I'm cool with that. We didn't agree on shit. You just told me what to do, and then I was like, okay. That's got much fight not really, eh, but whatever. But my dear lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Hello. Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. But I forgot my manners. Oh my I am Lady Grey. The mayor of Bowerstone. You're terrifying. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only li Thunder, I am tired of your protests. Tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. This is not over. New blood spills just like any other. And yours will spill soon. That was unbelievable! I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. <sighs> she was a fine hero, just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Baldrians. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all Baldrian, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Baldrians, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman, who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion's seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. And that's it. Champion Seal. Hey! He's descended from ancient royalty. Hey, you. Teresa wants you to meet her at the Grey Ass. And we'll do that here shortly, but first we're gonna head back to the guild. 
I want to spend my achievement points. Sorry, experience points. I'm... God, my mouth. So dumb today. I've got a dumb mouth. I'm not sure if that's a Let's Player's affliction or what. Let's see here. Uh, we can get physique level 6. And... Da, 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 da. We're also going to grab... Some kind of thing from here. We can't get physical shield level 4 just yet. Um, how are we on slow time? Slow time... We can get magic power level 6. That's pretty good. No qualms with that. Um, and then over here, accuracy level 5. Let's go ahead and purchase that if we... Actually, no. Speed's better. Speed's way better. We need all the speed we can get. We'll get accuracy next time. Okay, that's all of our attributes spent. We are now the arena champion, and we are hulking badass mode, basically. We do a ton of damage with all of our everything. And once we upgrade physical shield and slow time once more, we're going to be basically unstoppable, if I remember correctly. But it will all depend on our supply of mana potions. But now that we have a lot of money, we can buy them whenever the heck we feel like, and we should be good to go. So, next time we'll start off from here. I need to do a little bit of research into side quests to make sure we're going to the right places and doing things in the right order. Mm, um, but I will be back soon, and we will continue from here. So, thanks guys for watching. Boo boy!